been found, but was he lost? An Atlanta man has been on an unusual mission after finding a stuffed teddy bear in Hobbs. He's taken that bear all across the country while trying to find its owner. If it has one, News 13's Jeannie Nguyen has his story. I saw at first what looked like uh, an animal that had been, or a small, very small animal that had been hit by a car. As a contractor for the city of Hobbs, Frank Burns visits New Mexico often from his home in Atlanta, Georgia. During a work trip in November, he saw something concerning. He wanted to make sure it wasn't a suffering dog. As I slowed down, opened the, the door to see what and how, uh, as I pulled up to it, noticed it was a little bear. He picked it up and put it in his rental car. He's named the bear Buddy. Took him all the way to Atlanta, cleaned him up a little bit. Thought it would be an idea to see if we can find uh, whoever the little kid is that may miss his little bear. He posted this picture on Facebook, hoping to find Buddy's owner. But as months went by, Burns never got any leads. In the meantime, Buddy has been his travel companion. Made it to uh, Chattanooga and Nashville and Memphis and uh, was on a trip down to Florida with us. Since then, has been uh, doing a few more motorcycle trips to uh, the Georgia mountains as well. As Buddy waits for his human to come find him, Burns says Buddy is in good hands. Buddy is safe with us. Buddy had a good time so far. Um, we need to know where, when, and how uh, if we want to reunite him. Jeannie Nguyen, KRQ News 13. Burns says if you know who Buddy's owner is, contact him. His phone number is on our website and always on krqe.com. Local volunteers are speaking up for kids and fun.